If you're like me, you'll find the process of uploading videos to YouTube a little bit boring and not really the most exciting part of the process. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how TubeBuddy can help you to upload your videos and speed up that process, saving you a ton of time. Uh, and also, if you are new to YouTube, it can actually just walk you through the various different things that you need to do during that YouTube upload. So let's come over to my uh, YouTube studio, shall we? I'm in the videos section, uh, the content section. So let's just come to a video that I've uploaded but haven't actually done anything with it yet. So I'll just click on the little edit button here. Um, similarly, if you have just uploaded the uh, the video, then this would still be in that interface as well. This is just where you sort of detail uh, all of the different uh, things related to uh, to the uh, video that you're uploading, title, description, tags, all that sort of stuff. So this is the regular YouTube interface, uh, but we do have some additional elements here. First of all, let me just point out one that's uh, right here next to my uh, screen. Uh, this is one of the things about TubeBuddy. It just saves you time in so many different places. So if I'm editing this video, then I can see I've got a list of these uh, my video uploads, but I can just jump to a different one. So if I just wanted to jump to a separate video, I could just click on here instead, uh, click on uh, OK to discard those changes because I've done nothing there. Uh, but that, this is just one of the ways that TubeBuddy saves you time by enabling you to just jump back and forth between uh, videos rather than having to go back out to the video list and then go into the another video. Uh, so that's just one time saving feature that you've got right there with TubeBuddy. But I digress slightly. Uh, let's come down here and we'll look at the uh, first thing that we see down here, uh, we've got all of these uh, YouTube things like subtitles, end screens, cards, and so on. Uh, but then we've got upload defaults. Now in YouTube, you can set a default set of parameters that you want for uh, title, description, tags, all that sort of stuff uh, that will just appear by default. And in fact, that's what we've got here. So my description, rather than being a blank box, um, it's actually got this all this text in here. And this I have is kind of like a footer at the bottom of all of my descriptions with ways that people can connect with me it's got all of my gear list and things like that uh, things that I want to draw people's attention to uh, so I have that in as a stock description so then when I'm actually entering my actual description all I do is I write above that and so then that all appears at the uh, the bottom um, so the way that you set these defaults in YouTube is if you come over to the settings down here and click on the settings uh, and then you've got this thing here upload defaults so if I click on that one here you can see you can add a title you might want to add you know a part of a title or something like that uh, you can add the description so this is that description that we've just seen all of that content so you just add in that down there uh, you can change the visibility whether you want it public private or whatever uh, you can add in some tags if you want some specific tags in all of your videos uh, then in the advanced section, you can change things like the category, the uh, licensing, Creative Commons or YouTube licensing, whatever it is, the language, all that sort of stuff. So uh, you can change all of these. And then you've also got some monetization options where you can change what you want the uh, the type of ads that you're going to uh, place in there uh, if indeed you are uh, monetized at that stage. Uh, but like I say, the default in uh, or the, the option that you have in uh, YouTube is to either use this or not, basically. Uh, so uh, there is only one uh, one particular sort of setup for this. With TubeBuddy, though, uh, you do have the option to add in multiple upload defaults. So here you can see that I've created some for various different things that I use commonly. So I do a lot of videos about uh, Ecamm Live, do a lot of videos about Stream Deck, uh, I do a lot of videos about Setup. I should probably do one for my productivity in there, actually, although I'm t often talking about different apps, so perhaps it doesn't make Make total sense uh, but you can see that I've got these different defaults uh, and I've got one down here for TubeBuddy as well so basically you can set all of those things exactly as we've just looked at uh, but on multiple different profiles where you might want to have you know different types of ads on some you might want to have different uh, uh, categories for some or whatever it happens to be so that then, once you've set that up though, in the the, uh, the settings just down here at the bottom left, once you've set that up, when you come to upload a new video, you can just come here to the upload defaults and you can decide which of those profiles you want to use for this particular video. Uh, and you can also set, you know, whether you want to apply it specifically for the title, the description or whatever. So for this particular video, it is a TubeBuddy video. So let me use that. Um, I haven't made the title yet and there's no title selected. So let me just uncheck that one because uh, I don't want to apply just a total blank field to the title. I've just got the uh, the file name sitting up there at the moment. <laughs> uh, I will come and edit all this afterwards. But let's say I want to change the description, the tags, the visibility, and the advanced settings to those uh, ones that I've set as my TubeBuddy default. Well, if I click on Apply, 
then this is just going to take a moment to basically go through and add in all those things. So it's going to update the description, it's going to add in the tags that I want uh, and all of those other settings. And uh, as you can see, this is how long it takes. So it, this is all time that it saved me because uh, it would have taken me a lot longer to go through and actually change all of these things. Uh, and then you can see now we've got some tags in, we've got the uh, the TubeBuddy uh, description that I want to have uh, and then all of those other settings have uh, propagated as well. So that is the, uh, the first thing in terms of uploading. As you can see there, it can save you a lot of time if you're doing different types of videos that you want different settings for. Uh, next, we've got this uh, best practices. This is the thing that really was valuable to me when I was first starting out just because it actually ch told me pretty much what I needed to do because I was new to YouTube. I didn't really know what I needed to do in terms of uh, the, you know these various different things. Here, it does give you a great little explanation of them. So adding chapters, it tells you what the chapters are. Those are where people have timestamps in their videos so that you can jump directly to a particular section uh, and so there are great little sort of useful things here if you actually click on these uh, little uh, links it will give you more information about what it is so it really was a useful tool for me to actually learn what I needed to do and what all these different things were. Um, then you can also uh, uh, go through here, add chapters, get a like, like on Facebook. So it will uh, allow you to share this out and then see if uh, somebody's liked it on Facebook. And this is all about obviously driving more traffic back to uh, YouTube in that context. Uh, you've also got add info cards. So that is the kind of, you know, check out this video up in the top corner that people often do. Uh, I don't do that as much these days. I used to in the early days uh, of my uh, videos, uh, <laughs> try and put those in all the way through. Uh, but actually it's a bit of a uh, counter intuitive that is really because you're then sending people off out of the video that they're just watching so uh, what I've learned to do now is use those sparingly and more in the final uh, parts of the video when people are more likely to be potentially getting ready to uh, switch off from that video in any case uh, and you know seeing the end of the video is approaching so linking out to other videos or uh, if I look at the analytics and I see there is a particular drop-off point with uh, retention uh, where I must have been getting a bit too boring and droning on <laughs> then adding an info card at that point would be useful but in any case it's just prompting you here to say that uh, there are no info cards uh, in this particular video. Uh, add an end screen, so that is you know where you're linking to other videos at the very end. YouTube gives you 20 seconds at the end where you can put up links to other videos, other playlists, uh, a subscribe button, all that sort of stuff. Uh, so that's just prompting me to say that I haven't done that yet. Uh, there is, by the way, templates for these things. So uh, info card templates, I could just click on here and apply one of my templates. I could just click in here and apply a template. So rather than going into the end screen section, uh, like this uh, and clicking in and choosing the end screen you can see how I can apply a TubeBuddy template from in here as well um, but there's no need to go into this because you can just literally do it from here so again another time saving thing not just for the ability to even create templates but that you can just apply them from down here rather than having to go into some other menu or whatever then just prompting me to add it to a playlist uh, adding more tags so we did have that sort of uh, number of tags that were added in as part of this upload default so here you can see some tags have been added in for me uh, because of the ones I'd set in the default uh, but this is just prompting me to say there is space to add in more tags uh, next is add tags to your title so uh, prompting me to just make sure that the tags that I've got in my tags field are you know relevant to what's in my title and in my description and things like that um, and you can see here these are all of the ones that are left to be complete out of the nine best practices but you can see there are two of nine already completed so you can show those if you want as well so if you show those uh, they appear at the top with little ticks next to them so uh, basically the default behavior of this is it hides the ones that you have already done so what that means is if you can see anything in this best practices box it means there's something left for you to do and that's why I say again when I was uh, just starting out uh, it was useful to give me this sort of list of things I needed to do but even now it just acts as a visual cue that hang on there's something in that box that means there's something that I need to uh, go and check out and do uh, and in this case this was uh, adding captions and the title length so uh, this doesn't really tell you about you know what to put in your title it's just saying that you know the length of the title is uh, not too short and not too long obviously that is not a good title so the way that we would actually uh, craft a title would be using the keyword explorer which we're talking about in a moment um, but still on this page though as part of the uploads uh, we've also uh, got uh, tags coming back to tags again uh, we've also got some tools for tags <laughs> which is um, you can create tag lists in here so um, 
if I was to take all of these tags here, I can first of all do a couple of things. If I click on copy, um, then here you can see you've got a couple of options. These are all the tags that is just pulled out of the tags box uh, and you can either copy them to the clipboard. So let's say you were, you'd got some tags in here related to a video. Maybe you were going to do a blog post about it or something like that. You wanted to copy them out or wanted to copy them out for some other reason. You can just copy them to the clipboard that way. You can also create uh, tag lists. Uh, and so here, if I wanted to create a new tag list from those particular tags, I could click on new tag list here. Um, and then I could also, if uh, I wanted to, add these tags to an existing list. So these are some of the tag lists that I've got. And I could just add those tags to that list. Uh, so where it says copy to tag list, just click on the one you want and it will add those tags into that list. Uh, now, if this was completely blank or you wanted to add some additional tags, uh, then we've also here got input import so if I click on import um, here you'll see my uh, tag lists what I was just talking about and uh, so here is my list of uh, uh, tag lists and then in each of those if I click into one of them what you'll see is all the tags that are related to that particular tag list uh, and now I can either uh, go through and sort of manage these so if I wanted to add a new one to this particular list here uh, I could just come up here write the tag and click add so it would add it into this particular tag list uh, but if I decided yes I want to actually add these tags into this particular video if I just click on insert what you'll see is look no hands but it is actually going through and physically populating all of those tags into that uh, that tag field uh, so that is just another thing that you know coming back to this time saving factor uh, I'm not having to physically type those out it is just manually going and putting those in for me or I should say automatically putting them in for me you've also got some other tools down here uh, some more tag tools which is basically uh, recommending tags for you so uh, it's looking at your description and title and all that sort of stuff and existing tags and then it is just suggesting some for you so rather than having to type these out uh, you can just come and have a look and say okay I want this one uh, maybe this one as well how to use TubeBuddy to get views on YouTube uh, and so on so these are just a way that you can easily just come and grab some of these uh, it does have these little sort of scores next to them in terms of how relevant they are uh, and you can search tags by either relevance so this is how relevant they are to the video uh, you can also search by keyword score as well so looking for things where you've got uh, a really good keyword score with the uh, which we'll look at with the keyword analyzer in a moment uh, and then you've also got uh, various different ones here you can also search by search traffic as well so this is based on the uh, the volume um, uh, that has been driven to your video. Now this is saying, look, so, sorry, no videos have been driven to this video through YouTube search. So uh, this is one that you'll have a look at like after you've started to get uh, traffic to your video uh, and it will find out what the, uh, what the, the, the search terms that people have been using to find your video so that you can actually add those in as tags to improve on the, uh, uh, the, um, the click-throughs that you're getting basically or the, the search results that you're getting I should say. Um, now I will just draw one thing to your attention with tags. I, um, I do need to mention this because I went for several months without even noticing this was here. Uh, in fact I've just noticed in this recommended tags look Nick Nibbin is recommended in there. Well what I'm about to tell you I uh, <laughs> heard from uh, his brother <laughs> D Nibbin. Um, so here it says um, tags can be useful if content in your video is commonly misspelled. Otherwise, tags play a minimal role in helping viewers find your video. Um, so just bear that in mind. Um, that said, it is still here as a feature for you to use. So, you know, I'd recommend still using it. Don't just leave it completely blank. Um, but it has given you a little bit of a clue there. Uh, tags can be useful if content in your video is commonly misspelled. So think about putting misspellings and things like that, the pe things that people might search for uh, in <laughs> a slightly incorrect way uh, that you can think to include in there uh, common misspellings and things like that uh, that will still help your video get found uh, so that is just something to uh, bear in mind but a far better way to uh, or focus your attention is on basically the keywords that you're using in your videos and that's what the keyword explorer does and in the next video i'm going to be telling you all about the keyword explorer and how you can use it to uh, basically craft better titles and descriptions